To start making our cylinder cup, we are going to first lay out our template pieces on our slab of clay. We might need to be rolling our clay out with a rolling pin to make it a little bit larger so that our pieces can fit on. When you do this step, make sure that you only roll a couple times and then flip your slab over and roll the other side a couple times. This flipping motion is going to keep your slab from sticking to the black mat. Once your slab is rolled out to a good thickness, we are going to put our templates on top, and then we're going to trace around them with a cutting tool. I'm holding my template in place as I press the tool all the way through the clay onto the black mat. As I'm cutting my pieces out, I can remove the extra and set it off to the side. Once you have your two shapes cut out, we are going to bend this rectangle so that it becomes a cylinder shape, and then we're gonna slip and score these pieces together. So as you probably remember, slipping and scoring means that wherever you want to stick together two pieces of clay, like for example, this bottom piece connected to the bottom part of the cylinder, I'm going to first scratch and tear up one side of clay that I want to stick. So I'm just gonna scratch all the way around the cylinder here. And then I'm going to scratch along the bottom edge of my rectangle. So when you scratch the clay like this, it's sort of creating a bunch of little rough pieces on each side. And then when you stick the rough pieces together, they kind of grip onto each other like this. And it keeps the pieces from coming apart. A little bit of extra stickiness is gonna happen when we add just a few little finger dots of glue or of, <laughs> of water to act like glue when we stick our two scored pieces together. So now I can take my circle, stick it to where I scored on the bottom of my rectangle, and slowly start to wrap it around like so. You might have to sort of mush it together a little bit to get your pieces to fit correctly so that the edge of your rectangle meets in the middle right here. Now, once you have that all fit together, we also need to slip and score these two sides together. So you'll have to sneak in with your tool score your edges, add your little bit of water, and then connect those pieces as well. Now, once you've got this sort of halfway put together, you will need to spend a little time working with it to get it to look nice. So I'm just gonna go ahead and set it up, adjust my pieces that are stuck together, kind of smooth it out with my fingers, anywhere that looks rough, maybe on the bottom. You can even use your tools to reach down and smooth out any empty, any gaps that are in between the clay or any rough areas. So just work with your hands and your tool until you're happy with your cup. When you're happy with your cup, don't forget to flip it over and use your tool to lightly scratch your name in the bottom. Do this carefully so that it's easy to read, and make sure you don't push so hard that it goes all the way through your cup. Of course, we don't want to put a hole in the bottom of our cup. That wouldn't be very good. Now I'm gonna set this off to the side. You might have enough time to start working on the body of your sloth. So if you do have extra time, you are going to grab some clay, a nice large amount, and you are going to squish it into somewhat of an oval shape, like this. You want your oval to be just slightly taller than your cup. And make sure that when you look at your oval, you're happy with the thickness of your sloth's body. You don't wanna have a really skinny sloth. You might not have room to put a face on and things like that. So once you are happy with the size and shape of your sloth, we're gonna roll out our clay into sort of a large coil. The rolling helps my sloth's body to become smooth. Now, once I have rolled it just a little bit, because I don't want to roll it too skinny, then I'm going to sort of tap it on the ground 
so that the bottom part of my sloth will sit flat. The top part of my sloth, I'm going to round into a nice shaped head with my fingers. So I'm just going to use my fingers to squish it the way I want it to look. Now we might have time to work on our sloth's face. Now you could scratch the face right into the surface of the body like so, but I sometimes like to flatten out a really, really little thin piece of clay and I like to cut out a circle from that thin piece of clay and then I like to draw the face onto this and then slip and score my circle onto the body. So you can decide how you want your sloth to look. Usually sloths are kind of sleepy, so I'm gonna do some U-shaped eyes, scratched in very carefully with my tool. I'm gonna give him a little smile, and then I'm going to roll a tiny, tiny little ball and slip and score it to the face for his nose. Once I attach the face, I'm gonna go in with my clay tool and I'm gonna try very hard to get out any little crumbs that appeared when I made the eyes or mouth or fix anything that got a little smushed when I was attaching my face. Once I have it how I like it, I'm going to put whatever I got done with my sloth's body into the cup very gently and then I'm going to put the cup into a plastic bag and then gently press a little bit of the air out so that I can seal it. Sealing the bag will keep my clay wet until I come back to work on it next time and add the arms and legs. Don't forget to attach your name with masking tape to the outside of the bag. 